Hey YouTube, Dan here from EAP Films Official and today I'm going to be reacting to Asal Santos singing Go The Distance, the Michael Bolton uh, arrangement I believe. Uh, so uh, let's jump straight in. I've heard this song many times, as you know it's one of my favourite songs, so uh, let's check it out. I reckon the bass there would be so good. A bit more volume for me. I have haunting dreams of a far off place where my heroes welcome will be waiting for me. So far, so good. For the crowds will cheer when they see. Because I, I've heard this song sung by so many different artists that you just have to remember that the version might be a little bit different in the way that they sing it, you know. I will go the distance, I'll be right where I know. So far, it's a big thumbs up for me. But we all know we're waiting for the big bit near the end of the song. Though that road may wander, it may lead me to you. And a thousand years will be worth my wait. It might take a lifetime, but somehow. So when the song gets really interesting In now. Given it's the Michael Bolton version, I don't think it will go for a key change, so my prediction it will be similar to the Morris M version. I always forget about this part of the song like it exists, you know. It's always been there, even the Michael Bolton version, but I just always forget about this little bit of the song.
Wow! <laughs> I really enjoyed that, and I would say, I don't want to like, I hate doing comparisons and stuff, but it's just how you feel, isn't it? It's something, the way the music moves you. I felt more moved by this performance than Morissette's version. I don't know why, maybe I was expecting more. Or maybe, without checking, I can't remember, but was the Morissette version a recording where you could hear the proper sound or was it a camera copy, if you know what I mean, someone in the audience filming it? Because if it was a cam copy, that might explain it because it's the sound. But the sound of this is really good. Um, as I've said, I think if you were there, especially the opening couple of um, beats of the song, I think it would be quite bassy and I think it would really get the room excited, it would get me excited anyway. Um, I like that in parts of the song she sort of played around a little bit with it, made it her own and, and changed it a few places which, which surprised me and it kept it refreshing because I think it's very easy to sing, especially with so many people singing the song, it's very easy to go and sing it the way they sing it and I think even in your head because you know those versions so well you just kind of sing along with that version in mind but when she changes it you go ooh I like that, ooh I like that. So I think it, it's nice to change it up and you know as an artist I suppose you'd have to change it up to make it different because you want to stand out. So I think she's done an incredible job. Um, so yeah big thumbs up for me. So thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.